Evantech here with a mod guide for Subnautica. So a lot of you in the comments have been asking me if this game has multiplayer. Well, technically it does not have multiplayer, but you can get a mod for it. You will need to download the mod, so head on over to nitrox.rux.gg. Now go right ahead and press this download for a free button. This will redirect you to the download site. Before we continue, there's an important thing to know. This mod only works with the Steam version and the Epic Games version. So if you have any other version, for example the Microsoft version, it might not work. Alright, so if you want to continue with the installation, you will click the Start Download button. The download file will be compressed, so you will have to unpack it, and I can just double click to open it up. And here we have all the files and folders in order to run the server and the client of the multiplayer Subnautica mod. Now, just go right ahead and extract these files so you can make a folder. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't matter where the folder is located or what is its name. Just drag and drop the files into that folder. The second thing you will need to install is Hamachi, so head on over to vpn.net. Now just go right ahead and download this installer. Proceed with the installation, choose your language, for me it's going to be English. Click on next. You will have to click this checkbox in order to accept the terms and conditions of running this software. Set whatever installation path you want, I leave it at default and click on next. In this step you will not have to check this box, this is bundled software not required to run Hamachi. Just press install. Go ahead and press yes, this will confirm that you want to install this software and it's safe. And right after the installation completes, you will want to launch Hamachi to set it up. Hamachi will open up as this small window, you will want to press this power on button which will prompt you to log in or create an account. If you never used Hamachi before, you will want to click sign up and you will sign up with your email address. After you sign up and log in, you will want to join a game that has been already created or you will want to start a server so your friends can connect to you. I will go right ahead and show you how to create a new network for your friends to connect to. First of all, you will need to create a network ID and this network ID needs to be unique. So I will show you what will happen if you make a network ID that already exists in the system. Second thing you will have to provide is a password which will be used for your friends to connect to your network. We click on create and this is what happens. So Subnautica is already taken. You will have to come up with a unique network ID which will also be easy to share with your friends. Alright so the network has been created. It's called Evantech and if I was starting a multiplayer session I would have waited for people to connect to it. If your friends have any problems connecting to your Hamachi network, you will need to go right ahead and open up Control Panel. Now you are going to click on System Security. Now you are looking for Windows Defender Firewall. Next you are going to click on Check Firewall Status. Make sure to disable any protection that the firewall may provide because it might be causing you from connecting to your friends. Now here's the fun part, we are going to start launching our multiplayer game, so go right ahead and power this on, and it will take a while to connect and make a network, but once it's done, your friends will be able to connect to your Hamachi network. Now you will want to open up the folder which you have created at the beginning of this tutorial, and launch the Nitrox multiplayer mod. Now before you get excited on want to launch a multiplayer session, you will have to do a couple of more things. Go right ahead and open the settings tab. Now make sure that the path that is defined right here points to the folder where the game is installed on your PC.
However, if the path doesn't match, just click on the change button and set it manually. Now, when you got that sorted out, if you're going to host the game, you will have to make a server for people to connect to. So one of the people in the group and preferably the one with the best connection should make a server. So here we have a command line interface that opened up the game files and launched the server on your computer. So make sure you have this window open at all times. You can also see that the game uses a UDP port of 11,000. And here we have the admin password just in case. But the most important thing is this line. If you're using Hamachi, use this IP address and you're going to copy the second IP address. And you can copy it with Control C or you have to write it down if your computer doesn't allow to copy from command prompt. And the last step will be to enter the tab that says play game and you will launch the multiplayer session. And yeah, what do we have here? A multiplayer button. Go ahead and press that. Now go ahead and choose add server IP. And this window will pop up. The name of the server is not important. It can stay a local. But what you will need is input the IP address you have just copied from your command prompt. Click on add server and as you can see it's on your list. So now you can click on that to connect. Make sure to choose a username. You can also choose a color for the name tag. You will also see this IP over here so people know where to connect to. And now that you got everything ready, just click join. Okay, so once you launch a multiplayer session, you will have to give the game some time to process all the information. So it might become a little bit choppy and laggy at first, but it will calm down after a couple of seconds. And there we go, now you are in the multiplayer session. So you can just press Y to chat with your friends. Now you can survive together on 4546B. Have fun! Thanks for watching! Remember subscribe and like. You can join my Discord server, the link is in the description down below. And this is Avantech, signing off. Until next time.